Hi, right, it's Mark Coleman from Paul's Photo. We're here out in the back of Paul's Photo, and one of the benefits of our bee and butterfly garden is the bees. And my beekeeper friend John is here with our hives of bees, why we planted all these beautiful plants. So just my job here is to smoke the bees, to keep them calm, while John services... Oh, look at that. Wow! Can you get in a little closer, Chris, so you can see? There's our hive with the honey and the combs. And our bees are active. They love it. This is so cool. And these are very gentle bees. Yeah. And there's Mr. Lizard, too. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. A little smoke uh -huh. calm yeah. down. Okay. Now, what, what we have here is we have the honey in the comb. The honey is the bee food. Now, this area here, you can see that's larvae. And in the next 10 days, they will hatch. And they'll spend another two weeks as nurse bees inside the hive. And, and then they'll go out and spend two weeks foraging. And, the, uh, and then they die. So the average bee li lives two but, weeks as as a infant, and then two weeks as a as a worker bee. Yes. Wow. About thirty four days. <laughs> wow. That is so cool, John. Now this area is full. There's not much room for the bees to uh, to store honey or to lay eggs. So what I like to do at this point is I'll take a couple of these out. Well they're doing okay. There, there's room in here. Wow. But these are nice happy bees. We get some some rambunctious bees, and you don't want them around. But uh, well, they were pretty rambunctious that day. I got stung. If it was an overcast day, yeah, uh, or cold and windy, yeah, uh, then they're a little more rambunctious. All right, but they had brewed in here. Uh -huh. brood uh, hatched and you can see how shiny it is yep that's unripe honey okay uh, or un unripe nectar once they get the cells full and uh, ev oh, evaporated down to really thick stuff then they will seal it off and it's regular uh, bee food see these are just a few stragglers that haven't hatched yet. Wow. But the bees that are on here, they're eating as much as they can because they think they're being messed with. Wow, that's great, John. We've got the light from the right direction. Absolutely. So what are you going to do now? Well, uh, let's see. I've got this box. Okay. I'm going to take a couple frames out of here. Yeah. And put them down where she's been laying. Okay. So there's fresh nursery right here All right and you don't have to clean the old the old comb out of there no they uh, they'll just reuse it uh-huh wow pretty amazing I love it and you know what 
we're helping the bees. We're helping them survive. We're helping them pollinate our plants so that we have flowers and vegetables and fruits. And, you know, if it wasn't for the bees, we'd all starve to death, gang. So um, please be kind to the bees. Don't be killing the bees. Make a habitat for them. Do something like this. Just make, make a place in your yard for them. Give them a chance, and uh, we'll all be better for it. Don't Mark, use Roundup. Don't use Roundup. Exactly right. Don't use pesticides. Use natural pesticides, natural things like that to... Uh, control the weeds you know the best thing with weeds in your art is rip them out with your hands that's the easiest way so or if you're really lazy put pool chlorine in a spray bottle uh -huh. and spray it on directly onto the plant okay and that will kill uh, that plant yeah yeah so thanks a lot everybody mark Coleman from Paul's photo the lab at Paul's photo and the creative photo Academy you know Taking pictures and being creative is one thing, but I think this is taking it to a whole nother level because uh, we got bees, we're helping them, life is good. Thanks, John, this is awesome. Smoke? Smoke? Smoke Please. coming.